Well, we didn't see as much sunshine today as what we were hoping to see. The clouds really rolled in pretty quickly, made for kind of an overcast day across a good portion of central Iowa, all out of this uh, ahead of our next big system that's going to be bringing us several opportunities for rain. There is the possibility that we see a few severe storms as we go through the day on Friday, and then storms are likely over the weekend as well, including on Labor Day itself. We will be experiencing near average temperatures over the next several days. So here's why this stormy pattern is setting up shop. A big system is going to bring some warm air in by early tomorrow morning. That's basically round one. That will spark some showers and storms late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Most of that coming after midnight tonight. We will be watching for a little bit of a dry spell tomorrow afternoon and then as we head into Friday evening another opportunity for showers and storms comes in. I do think a lot of that is going to hold off until after high school football, but still some scattered storms will be possible during those games. We will be experiencing that cold front coming through on Saturday. It's going to stall out over the state and bring us more rain chances into Saturday and Sunday. Now the latest update from our drought tracker this just released this morning. It comes out every Thursday shows not really much change. We do still have a pretty severe drought down in southeast Iowa. So even though it seems like we've had a lot of rain, it just goes to show we do still need more and good news. Those chances definitely on the way. So our future tracker showing we could just see some sporadic showers and pop up thunderstorms by early tomorrow morning. This is Friday at 6 a.m. We should see some drying through the afternoon. I do think we're going to see a little bit better coverage on Friday morning of showers and storms, a dry spell in the afternoon, and then by tomorrow night is when we watch for storms to arrive. The main line will likely come in by, say, 8 to 10 p.m. I do think northern Iowa could be impacted by some of those showers and storms during the football games. Then notice that activity hangs on through 2 a.m. It could be a pretty powerful line of showers and storms. That could bring us a couple severe thunderstorms, too, with wind and hail being our primary threats. Looks like we could dry out Saturday morning and then basically Saturday night we ramp up the rain chances again. So our storm threat tracker for Friday, wind and hail will be our primary threats. Isolated tornado not totally out of the question, but again, it's a lower likelihood. As far as rainfall goes, we're going to see a lot over the next several days. Now this is just one computer model. It shows our rain tracker between two and say three and a half inches across central Iowa. This is through Sunday at 10 p.m. So over the next several days and then we do have rain chances beyond that too. So so it could even go higher than that. Your kickoff forecast for Saturday, Iowa taking on northern Illinois over in Iowa City. Be watching for scattered showers and storms in the afternoon. I'd bring a poncho just in case. For the ISU and South Dakota State game in Ames, same thing. There could be a couple spotty showers. I do think that one will be drier, but still we'll have to keep a close watch out for storms and everything is going to be A-OK -okay out in Montana for the UNI game. So tonight here in the Des Moines Metro, scattered thunderstorms mainly after midnight. It becomes breezy with a low near 68. Tomorrow, scattered storms through the day. The best chance is early in the morning and then later in the afternoon and evening. It does become pretty windy on Friday as well. A high a little warmer, 84 degrees. A look at the next 10 days. Yeah, showers and thunderstorms, a good possibility each and every day. It is not going to rain all day every day for everybody, but the big message is that there is a chance. Our greatest chance is again tomorrow. And then again on Sunday, and it looks like the middle of next week could be a little stormy as well. No significant temperature changes on the way until sometime next weekend.